so we're gradually coming to the end of the third round of our granny square the first round was to cast on 12 double crochet stitches the second round was to divide the the 12 double crochet stitches into four corners each corner had or as six stitches six double crochet stitches separated by two chains and by the sides is only one chain one chain is only the corners that have two chains in between the three stitches so for instance now we've just finished this side and i'm going to make just one chain one chain yeah i'm going to make just one chain and then go into this corner i'll yarn over remember with double crochet it's yarn over first so i'm going to make six double crochet stitches here into the corner but they'll be separated by two chains after three double crochet in the same corner in the same space so i'm making the second double crochet here now and this is the third one now after this third one because it's the corner i'm going to make two chains the two chains helps us to give it that um, angular corner the angle so i'm going to make another three double crochet in the same space of this corner whenever you get to the corner of six you must make six double crochet with three on each side separated by the two chains so this is the first one after the 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 chain the two chains this is the second one after the two chains and there's a third one so this completes the six double crochet in this corner as we can see each corner has six double crochet each corner has six double crochet the sides have three and so i'm going to now close this round with a slip knot but before i close it with a slip knot i'll make my chain because i need that chain to work with in expanding the size of the granny square because that's going to be my first space so now i go into the chain which the top chain of the round and slip stitch remember the way we make our slip stitch just yarn over bring in the loop and slip it through the previous loop in the hook so now we've closed up this round and we can see our perfect um, granny square if you look at this spaces we'll find out that they all have the same number of spaces in between the corners this is a corner separated by one two space and then we have another corner separated by one two space spaces we have the third corner separated by one two spaces then we have the fourth corner and then we can see the two spaces before the next corner the first corner so that makes it a perfect square. 
once a side the space on a side is smaller or more than another space in the in an, on another side your square is not going to be perfect your granny square will not be perfect because it means the one side will be longer than the other so normally what i should do again here is to make two chains this represents my first stitch in this round and then inside the space that was created with the chain before i slip stitched into to close up the round i'm going to make two double crochet again like i said before when you're doing this it looks like you're walking backwards but you're not walking backwards it's you're going to show up that you have three stitches here with the chain being the third stitch so this is my third stitch two double crochet and the chain you can see and then i continue on this round like this like i said these are th these three like i said when you're working on the side you use just one chain so i'm going to make a chain and then i go into this space because i'm still working on the side it's only when i get into this corner that i'll make two chains in between the six stitches but while working on the sides like now i'm just going to be casting i mean i'm just going to be making two chain i mean one chain for the sides in between the side the stitches on the sides but once i get to the corner i'll make two chains to separate the six double crochet in the corner so now i'm in the corner i'm going to make a chain to get to the corner but i'm going to make six double crochet in the space of the corner and separate it with two chains and that will will continue like that until we get to the end of the round where we will close it up with a slip stitch and then make two chains again to start the next round make two chains again to start the next round that's when we get to the end of this round we're not yet at the end of the round we're just starting this round so now because it's a corner i'm going to make two chains and then make an, the next three double crochet stitches in the same space and i hope um this video will help us to make a perfect granny square at all times so i'm going to pause here as i expect that we should by now follow the rules in expanding every round of the granny square so for this I've started the next round and I'm going down this way again. I'm going to make a chain, make three here, make another one chain, make three here. Once I get to the corner, I'll make the first three, make two chains and make another three in the same space. So I'm going to have six. Each of the corners should have six until we get to the beginning of the round and we slip stitch to this, this um, Chains, the first two chains we had here, we slip stitch into it to close the round. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you'll be able to make your granny square as best, as good as I've been able to make it here. Thank you.